Biden is, has really, uh, really two virtues, as I see it, coming in as, as president of the United States. Two things going for him in, in my book. One, he's not Donald Trump. That is a major virtue. And second, he's not AOC. He's not a crazy um, far left politician. He is not committed to a far left agenda. And he's not Donald Trump. Now, we know that over time, moderates, centrists, people who really stand for nothing, cannot win. They don't represent anything. They, they have no way to go. They have nothing to offer. That in the end, principles will always defeat the pragmatic. And the, and the drift that the United States has seen towards statism over the last hundred years is a great example of that. We have had no principled defenders of freedom, no principled defenders of capitalism, no principled defenders of the founding fathers. And as a consequence, the only people with principle in American politics have been religionists and rabid leftists. And the rabid leftists have won that battle so far. And therefore, we have drifted slowly but systematically and consistently towards the left. And that is not going to be stopped by a middle-of-the-road, stand-for-nothing, 78-year-old politician who has been in politics 50 years and for most of those 50 years has stood for nothing in particular, moderation, unprincipled moderation. Now, I think that this unprincipled moderation is, um, uh, slows our drift towards uh, the principled left, the principled left meaning the AOC left, meaning the far left, meaning the critical race theory left, the, the, the nutty environmentalist left, all the, all the really, really bad stuff on the left. I think that, uh, you know, having somebody like Biden slows that down relative to the speed in which we were heading in that direction under Trump. But he cannot stop it. He cannot stop it. And indeed, he will explicitly move us in a leftist direction. We will not have socialism in four years. We will not be Venezuela even in eight years. But we will continue the drift that we are being engaged in for 100 years now towards great authoritarianism, greater government involvement in our lives, giving government attempts to dictate every aspect of our lives. That will, that drift will continue. I think it accelerated under Trump. It brought out the worst elements of right and left. Biden is more of a turn to a status quo, a breather where we return to a normal pace of deterioration rather than a sped up one. 